Today, I uh, will go through how we bind the test micro and the uh, uh, Sanwa RX 481 or 482 receivers. Okay, first on the transmitter, I will make sure that um, every setting is back to factory defaults, dual rates, subtrims, EPA, uh, reverse mode, the trims all back to factory defaults for um, the steering as well as the uh, the throttle functions all back to factory default um, if you're not sure there's an easy way to do this um, you can just model clear you can choose which model you want to clear and uh, this will um, set set that uh, the settings for that particular model to the factory default and ready for the uh, binding okay um, now we are ready to bind I will go to the system bind uh, fh 4 t telemetry off because I don't use telemetry and uh, just okay the transmitter is ready now I will turn on okay make sure that the desk micro uh, you have the bind plug plugged into the right port and um, when you look at it um, the LED light the one on the extreme left should be the correct bind port I've uh, written down uh, for myself to see just in case I forget so LED light the one on the extreme left port is the bind port so plug in the bind plug uh, the, bi the bind plug, plug and we switch it on see the flashing okay now we are in um, binding mode and uh, while the bind uh, the bind is flashing the, the bind button or the bind yeah whatever icon is flashing we uh, just press down on the wheel a uh, second time and you see the solid light come on the receiver and um, we've successfully bided it and uh, we just need to unplug the bind plug uh, power down power on again you will see again the solid blue LED and uh, we can now Okay, is uh, successfully binded. Okay, now I will show you how I bind the uh, original Sanwa 481 or the uh, 482, which is the same as the 481, except that the 482 uh, has a telemetry function. So the process of binding it is the same. So this time round, uh, I will just show you how we do a uh, factory uh, reset before we bind. This is very important to make sure that all the all the dual rates, the endpoints, the trims are set to neutral and hundred percent to be ready for the binding. Steering and throttle both need to be set to factory reset uh, to to factory default. So the easy way to do this, if you are not sure um, and you don't want to go through the individual setting, is uh, you can just go to model, uh, model clear, and select the model you like to to do this to set to factory defaults, and I will select this model five, full mode system system who uh, this will choose between um, resetting just the model or, or if the full mode is the model plus the system that means that things like the beeps um, the timer and so on I will just do a full mode reset clear yes so this will set the settings for that particular model
just now it's model 5 to the factory defaults so now I will select this model and we are ready to bind the, the receiver to the transmitter so system bind uh, FH40 is the correct one telemetry is off since I do not have a telemetry receiver safety link I will usually set this to be the same as the number of the model this is for safety purposes um, so that we don't have a runaway car and uh, we are ready to bind see, you can see the icon flashing now okay I've already plugged in the plug uh, oops okay I forgot about power now we will uh, as we power on the ESC our we need to press and hold the bind you can see the bind button you bring it closer you can see the this bind button you can you can actually push it you need to press and hold the bind button as we power on the ESC okay it's flashing and the flashing will stop we are in bind mode and we just need to press down on this button one more time for select the select button press it down one more time ah okay uh, you won't be able to see it but the it has come on solid blue on the receiver and now we are we are successfully binded and uh, I will usually just power off and power on again you can see the blue solid light is still on and we have successfully binded all right that's it